All right. Uh, hello, everyone. This is a stream from Card and Cube, Cards and Cubes. Um, my name's Christo, and, and Trevor, Trevor is joining me. <laughs> I guess Trevor introduced <laughs> himself right there. But yeah, Trevor, Trevor joining me for a game of Caper Europe, and uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, the Kickstarter is actually now over for a couple of weeks, but you can still late pledge actually for this game, and uh, you can buy it retail if you look at this later. Uh, this is a mod, the tabletop simulator mod that they released for the playing, the kind of trying the game out. So we're just going to kind of jump into it. And actually, Trevor's forgotten how to play this game. So I'll just kind of uh, walk through it really quickly. And that's about it. And he just joined. Yeah. So this game is kind of um, the theme of the game is we are performing capers or uh, kind of trying to steal stuff and do nefarious things around the city in Europe, I think. Yep, they're all in Europe. Uh, these are the options down here. Of the Spoilers, city. that's the, uh, the name of this game. Caper Europe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, that makes sense. I didn't even think about that, which is hilarious. So anyway, these are the city options. And depending on which city you choose, there's a different set of cards mixed in and whatever. But basically, the flow of the game is uh, there's going to be a certain amount of rounds. Actually, this is an improvement on the original version. Uh, there, This actually, I should say, is the third implementation of the game. The original game was called, gosh, it's mine. It's mine. That's what it's called. It's mine. That's literally the name of it. Then exclamation it, mark? Uh, actually, exclamation mark. Yeah. Kind of funny because we're yeah. just talking about on the podcast that there's a lot of popular games with exclamation marks but then it got re-implemented as caper just caper not europe uh and then now this is almost like the third edition of the game uh which is caper europe so originally it had four cities and uh different way different card design uh now uh, then Caper took away a city, actually, and they re redesigned some mechanics of the game, and now it's back as Caper Europe as the latest edition, I guess, which, again, is kind of like rebalancing some cards, supposedly, and then it, adding, it added uh, Barcelona as the new city um, in, in the game. So how is the game going to go? Basically, it's a really kind of straightforward drafting game. There's going to be three... Uh, Actually, I think still cities. Cities, yeah. Is I it think cities? it's going to be. So you choose Paris, a city. Rome, London, and and Barcelona. Yeah, the funny thing is, you choose a city, and there's still cities in here. So, like, I don't know. I guess it's like you're choosing a region, really. Um, I don't know what the heck, but that's that's weird. Because yeah, they're oh no no no, they're they're not cities. They are the uh, sites in the city i think these uh, are it so like you have the eiffel tower or the louvre or the or versailles or notre dame or whatever anyway so depending on which city you choose you may or may not get one of these cool sites which are city specific or the generic ones which museum or yacht or the bank so we are stealing art or whatever or performing heists in the specific location so we're gonna be kind of fighting over the three locations in the middle by performing capers in them. What is a caper, I guess I should say, is the title of the game. It's also a fully equipped uh, person in the game, meaning every uh, thief, actually, I think they're called thieves, every thief uh, can have up to three equipments attached to them. So maybe I should reset the game after this, because <laughs> I'm kind of ruining Probably. it. Probably. <laughs> but uh, th there's a thief, and you can attach equipment to them, and every thief can, can have three equipments, and the three equipments is automatically a caper, which means, this is also an improvement in the game, this thing moves one towards me if... Uh, um, I have one caper and you have zero. So it's, it's like a tug of war of who has more capers in every location. Uh, another caper is when you see this icon with the eyes. That's basically a caper. Uh, so we're going to be drafting cards back and forth, trying to arrange things to steal stuff uh, from the location, meaning 
have more capers, meaning we win the location. So ultimately, at the end, at the very end of the game, we're going to score points based on who has more capers, like where this is. If it's in the middle, I think no one scores the points. It doesn't matter because it's a two-player game. Um, the new thing in the game is also if you push it really far, like up to here, you actually get two additional points because you pushed it that far. Basically, like no contest kind of a win. I just like give up somewhere and you just score two extra points because you can push it that far if you want to push it that far. Um, in addition, every location has a scoring condition. For example, here, if you have purple cards, you score a point per purple card in the entire location. Purple cards are, I think, equipment. Yes. So basically, you want to equip your thieves in the yacht, if this is the yacht, with purple equipments, in this case, false documents, which itself gives you a point for every... Uh, the thief that you have on the location so basically the cards are you're kind of building a bunch of combos to score possibly points from the cards themselves also fight with capers for the location and that's about it so the game is only scored once at the very 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 end uh, every the entire game is a build up towards that scoring and these are the rounds here so this is another improvement is now that there now there's a round tracker which actually previously used to be still there was a round tracker but kind of different so this is the number of cards that we draw also the type of cards we draw um Dark meaning this deck, which will be our thieves, thieves deck, and bright meaning the equipment deck. So basically the first round, for example, we're going to shuffle this face down after we set it up. I'll reset the game. It's going to be a mix of these generic thieves plus one of the cities. So we're going to deal four to both of us. Doot, 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 doot. And out of the four cards, this person takes the first turn. So now there's alternating turns. The previous edition used to be one person was always first playing thieves, so kind of lame. So they kind of switched it up. So now it's kind of snaky. So it's going to be like me, you, you, me, me, you. And then over, score. The heck, this is locked. It shouldn't be locked. Did you lock it to mess with me? Anyway, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So we draw four cards, and then we simultaneously decide to play one, and then we give our hands to the other person. So we just play one, give our hand to the other person, play one, give our hand to the other person. The last card gets discarded, so it does not get played. So in the hand of four, you'll only be playing three uh, thieves. Uh, where can you play them? Completely open to you. Um, who knows? Uh, obviously, if you're playing a lot in one location, you're not playing too much in the others. That should be obvious. So we're fighting for all three locations at the end of the game, ultimately. Uh, also, another improvement in the game, if you remember, there used to be art, uh, which used to be stolen at the end of the game. Um, now there's these art tokens and I, uh, just kidding, this is money, which always is also is important, but I'll talk about that later. There are art tokens somewhere. Uh, I need to find where they are in the mod. Maybe. Oh, you found them. Yep. So depending on what's in the city, I think we, s or there's some, I'll go through the setup in the rule book, uh, but we're going to actually have physical tokens. So it's a little bit. Uh, easier previously they were on cards like this so when you play this card you actually i think you physically take a token off the city uh, so you have art in front of you which is set collection uh, if you collect sets of different you score points at the end of the game this is the table a single token is two points two different is five three different is nine so well, i hope you can tell me what those are because they're not loading <laughs> really yeah. This, you can't see what these are? Nope, they're just white squares. Did you get an error or something when you were loading the game? No, it just it's stuck at 0% loading. Maybe I'll leave and come back. Yeah, maybe try leaving and coming back. Because, yeah, they look like exactly like the first game. Um, with, like, faces and diamonds and whatever. But you should definitely be able to see them. Otherwise, we kind of have a problem. But anyway, I'll keep going. So... Um, 
in the first round we're gonna be drafting four cards with one obviously the last one just being discarded so really one le one fewer than this which is funny because you can see here that this round is two cards so we're just gonna play one card and that's it so draw two play one <laughs> very uh very simple um, oh, they're loaded now. Okay, good. Whew. I was like, that's a problem for sure. <laughs> uh, and then we score the game, and that's that's pretty much it. Yep. That's, uh, clarifying that's it. question: When do you see this, um, like on on your card, where you have the color card, and it's like behind the desk? Yep. Does that mean at this location? It means at the entire location, yes. Uh, I think all of the cards are for the entire location. Nothing is linked to a particular thief. Also, if you look at this, this is a card for thieves. So again, it's the entire location, thieves. So one false document attached to someone scores. Oh, I guess I should say you can only play up to three thieves. Right. So like this card over here will score one point per thief at yes. the location. So and this, only your thieves. Yes, I think. Uh, there's clarifications for cards which you can check, but my impression is yes, it's uh, for the particular location only, meaning this is two points, meaning this is three points for this particular card. Um, oh, if you remember... Uh, and this would be two points per... Um, I have no idea what that is, actually, so a really good question. Let me find out. Two points per something indeed. <laughs> Uh, oh, coins. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm desperately trying to find. Oh, shakedown bell. Gain two points oh, if you two if you win if you yeah, just if win, you win this location. Yeah. yeah, this is a new icon which did not exist in the previous game as well. So most of them are pretty straightforward. We can just look them up. Uh, speaking of which, you remember the trolling mechanic in the first game where there was a guy that flips stuff. Now it's a burning icon. It's a blaze. So you can only blaze one of the top gear cards. So it's less trolly now. I think previously it used to include like you can flip a thief over, which was really kind of annoying. You can still attach equipment to them, but now you can only blaze equipment. And I think is this... the gear card the cards that attach to the thief? Yes. Okay. Gotcha. And now there's these locks where you can protect your gear cards of the shown color from being blazed. So simple. Uh, apparently, you lose one caper. Blah 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 does not reverse oh it doesn't reverse instant effects but apparently it does reverse capers for example if someone's not fully equipped anymore let me see oh by the way the funny thing is uh, check this word out thiefal at least i thought that was like a joe uh, mistake because i was like what the heck is this word and then i realized they're doing meeple but with thieves so this is a thiefal apparently get it thiefal <laughs> uh, absolutely nice. hilarious yeah i don't know about that but anyway let me see for example when your opponent uses a blaze blaster to destroy your simple disguise which is that card you lose one caper moving blah 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 oh you do reverse the effects oh you don't reverse like combo effects so it's unlike suburbia where it affects your entire tableau you just reverse the individual card effect and the other cards, yes, this is quite confusing. I wonder if they're going to change this. Because you can see the colonel gets a caper every time you equip him with a purple thing. So he does not lose this caper. You just reverse the individual caper from the card. Do you get it? Kind of confusing. So the the card the colonel would still have the caper but the card would no longer be active yes because you remove the card then you reverse its individual effect which in this case is a caper but you don't like check the entire tableau and update it so the colonel still maintains his caper you just lose one cape this it's very simple you just lose the card individual effect that's it nothing else okay. nothing else adjusts i don't know what this means like i say this is a little confusing of a rule i wonder if they're going to change it this is a preliminary rule book as well as you can see see i wonder if it's going to be the same oh coins uh we start the game with some kind of coins like three or something uh usually equipment costs coins as you can see here or i don't know if you can see hmm. you can't see <laughs> Find me. I, I see no coins <laughs> Find me an equipment which costs coins there it is 
This is actually coins. how you make coins. I remember seeing those before. You make coins. No, I don't think you make coins. I think you actually have to pay. Oh, is that how you buy it? Gosh, let me see. Uh, basically, coins. <laughs> <laughs> Coins are a thing. Co coins, coins are a thing, yes. Uh, I thought you had to pay for equipment. Yeah, you can see on the picture here. Yeah, yeah, the equipment definitely has coins on it. So is this like a fail of the game or something? What the heck? 2S? Well, isn't it? Is that the coin price? 2S? I think that's what they're going for. The mod needs definitely some work. Because their rule book doesn't match. Uh, what's the, the what's the mo the money called? Coins. <laughs> no, no, but like, is there an S? Uh, like what? I don't know. Like a French word for. I, I literally think. Oh, like shillings or something. Yeah. Uh, no, French is. No, but look at this. Look at this card though. Well, it has that symbol. They're all yours now. The the people make the coins. That's how you get coins. So if you play the oh. chef, he makes a coin. If you play equipment, you have to pay for the coin. I think it's a rule book fail because you can clearly see like this is the card, and this uh, costs one coin. So I think it's one like one dollar. Uh, this is really bad. They need to fix this. But I'm pretty sure this is the price of equipment. Uh, yeah, yeah. Depending on what your card, blah blah. If uh, it's a gear, maybe maybe the the what. S is supposed to have a line through it. Yes, I think it's uh, supposed to be a dollar. Uh, let me... Uh, gaining caper, yep, you don't say. Coins. Uh, choose a thief, gain... Uh, yes, gain the number of coins indicated by the thief. So that's how you make coins, is by playing thieves. It resolves the ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, coin limit. Uh, there is this weird tug of war. If you remember, there's only 10 coins in the game. So if you have more than the other person, you can actually take them from the other person. But if you have five, five, you just don't get them. So if we're hoarding coins, we might run into that situation. I don't think it's going to be an issue. Uh, yes, pay the cost of the gear, if any. So this is definitely the price of gear. Is just a bad mod situation, so this is the price to play the gear. Hopefully we don't screw this up. <laughs> like, <laughs> like a lot of other things. But anyway, I think you get the idea. I should just reset the game. We should choose one of the cities and play it. And good luck to both of us. So let me just reset it. Hopefully that's not going to break your stuff. And which city do you want to play? Paris, I think, is the simplest one, and we've played it before. Uh, I was actually thinking Barcelona. It has a lot of effects of... What? Did you just choose one? <laughs> I did Barcelona, but go ahead and... Uh... Go ahead and explain what you're saying. Well, good luck to all of us because this is complicated. Uh, this icon, which is the I, I think rewards you for having the top, yes, the topmost gear. So when you're done playing at uh, Montjuic, I don't know what this is. I'm not familiar with Barcelona uh, tourist sites or whatever. Uh, you want to have the top gear card be purple. So very tricky. So like the last gear card you play, you want to be purple because for two every points. for every top gear card that is purple, two points. For every top yellow card, you have two and points. Uh, this apparently, this cannot be blazed at this location. This is just red period. This is not special. So kind of oh, weird. Oh, because it doesn't have the eyeball. Yeah, the eyeball is the one where the top one has to be. Um, I think that just rewards you for red cards, whatever they are. So now, remind me the real quick the set collection of for the art pieces because I can see them now. Uh, there's a little table here. So different. You want sets of different. You can make multiple sets. So if you have three heads, you score two oh, points and I two see. points and two points. I you see. just make sets of different. Simple. Gotcha. Uh, so, and what's the symbol for art stealing again? I it looks like uh, the, this, I think. So I think oh, this means oh, yeah, that you, you can take, steal uh, any token. The particular yeah. tokens are labeled with particular icons. If you have any questions, these are a bunch of icons here. Uh, unlike, I should say, the rulebook in the final version is probably going to be way better because Caper has 
every single card like written out so there's absolutely no confusion uh this is a little fudged for the kickstarter demo because they just have icons so you're supposed to know what the cards do and i think uh, we'll be able to figure them out just fine but yeah i think this is what art looks like so if you look there was a page with some icons as well this one yeah yeah there you go take a stolen good yeah so the particular ones only take a particular one if it's not available i thought that might happen you may not <laughs> so yeah be aware that you so should play so there's no taking art from another player it's just what's yeah in if you play a painting and there's no more paintings you don't get a painting simple as that very kind of simple straightforward game oh did it deal us coins we're supposed to start with coins uh the mod doesn't have I that scripted don't see it. so let me see how many coins we start with shuffle reveal blah 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 oh we don't start with coins you're supposed to make coins by playing Are thieves. Are coins limited? Because there's only 10 in Yes, the that's what I was saying. I don't know if you missed that discussion. You can only take from the other person if you have more oh, than them. If we I both see. have five, you just don't get coins. So, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, don't hoard too many. If you're five or under, you're fine. And yeah, we just play and switch, play and switch, play and switch. Uh, I'm going first. What does that mean? You're not really going first in this game. I thought it's simultaneous. Well... You, I would assume, like, we select cards at the same time, but you have to flip and select first. Oh, yeah, because where I select, yep, 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 I remember now. Uh, so, yeah, basically, you're going to be seeing the stream from my perspective and my horrible decisions, and because the game's kind of secret, I'm not going to be really talking too much, but I'll try to talk soon. Or you might have, uh, you might have great, you can just whisper. <laughs> Uh, I have a really weird icon, which I think actually is affected by both of our situations. So let me see if that's true. Yep, I have this icon. So this is the icon where the opponent side matters as well. If you look at the top, it has like arrows both top and bottom. Linking so it together. That's, yep, I understand the card now. I definitely understand I the think... card. I think... I think I, I, think. Have, I need oh, to find this card. Sets of cards. Uh, sets of cards. Some cards reward you for sets of cards. They're the entire location. Uh, this is actually quite a, what, quite a weird one. For example, uh, gain three points. My prediction is without reading the text, you have to have a yellow top equipment and two of any other top equipments, which are not the yellow. Yep. Oh, that's a thief color. So we have a yellow thief. Gain three points per unique set of yellow plus two other cards at the location if the topmost. Wow, that's a really weird one, actually. That's not very intuitive. Um, anyway, maybe you should look up some icons. This, this might be a disaster. There are Which some. One? Uh, this one. So, this one is actually gain three points. If the topmost gear card of at least one of your thieves is yellow, so all you need to activate this is a yellow topmost gear, but you want a set of yellow plus two of any, literally any other cards, which is strange. Uh, there are. There is a set collection icon, which I'm trying to find, which scores like this. Uh, so you just need the blue and any other card, I think, literally any other card at the location to yeah. make the sets. And I think that's a set scoring. So for sets of those cards, you get two points each. Um, I have one of, the, one of those, sorry. Um, so I guess actually, Technically, you should look at the goals and align your goals with what's on the table, but good luck. For example, these are tricky because, like, who knows what my last equipment is going to be, so... Yeah, like, are you going to have it yellow? <laughs> who knows? <laughs> yeah, yeah that's... But I guess maybe I should pick cards which reward you for, like, you know, things... Yep, thanks. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna choose this card. Then there's actually a pass cards button. Uh, we both are you ready? Maybe we should try it. But should we flip cards first? Yeah, let's actually do it. Okay, so I played the Colonel, which gives me an instant caper. Uh, my thinking is I don't know, even if it's not the last uh, 
card here, maybe something good will happen. So I instantly score a caper because the colonel is a caper. Oh, psh, caper if you have uh, purple cards. Just kidding. So I just, I'm interested in purple cards there. Uh, Trevor, however, does score a caper and he is interested now in red cards. Similar thinking. Let's, uh, you can push the button to see if it works. Yep. So we just repeat this. I'm glad last, they scripted that. The last card is discarded. Oh, if you made any oh, money, you'll take money. Coin. Yep. I didn't make any money because apparently my guy's too good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So we have a guy here. You've seen these cards, which uh, has capers, but fewer money and none. Or actually a guy dressed as a nun who has money, but fewer capers. And some kind of a set collection concept. Yeah, let's go with this. <laughs> ah. You don't know where I'm going to play oh, I'm just, it. I'm just actually, checking. I don't, I don't know where you're going to play it. Um, actually, I wonder if we select the card before seeing. I think maybe someone plays a card and the other person plays a card, which could make a difference because you can select from your whole uh, hand. You know what I mean? Yeah, I wonder if selection is simultaneous and you can't change after the fact, but maybe. Picks a card and plays it. Then they swap hands. If, uh, masterminds follow this pattern. They draw crafting sets. Whether, yep. Starting, draw the appropriate, alternate choosing and playing. Yep, yep. No, it's even better than that. You're right. Um, or I'm right. I don't know. I, it's basically is the way it is. You choose and play a card, and then I choose and play a card. So we played the first card kind of simultaneously, which is BS. But anyway, it's fine. Well, I, that was the one I was going to pick regardless, I think. But. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, I get to see what you choose and play, and then I choose and play. So it's even better. Going first, I guess, is worse, better. I don't know what it is. It's just a thing. You can move the robot because you actually need equipment. Oh, if you notice, uh, one cool thing about this version of the game is they fixed previously the equipments who had to be placed at the bottom because the effect was at the bottom. Now you can stack them nicely and cover the awesome art. So Trevor is interested in this guy who makes a coin and stuff and he's fighting for that location and maybe I don't care and I just play this actress who gets me coin. And pass Miss cards for the last. Miss Tufal. Miss Tufal. Yep. Exactly. So, I get to go first now. Uh, 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 <laughs> hmm. Well, I'm going to double down. This is like, I feel like this city is kind of push your luck because... I'm basically doubling down now that we're going to have a lot of interest in this city and a lot of these equipments, maybe at the top, because this guy scores for it. So I feel like it's like a build up, and in the last round, you either win or lose a lot. <laughs> maybe so, that's my so, kind of throwaway so we'll city. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's uh, probably, they had a suggestion in the previous game of less advanced to more advanced, and uh, London was the most advanced. I think this might be even more supposedly advanced than London, but we'll see. Wow, you're raking coins. Hopefully it doesn't destroy my face the next round. So the last card is just trashed. Uh, we can trash it to the side here, whatever. It's not played. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Let me just make sure, because that would be... Yes, until you only have one card in hand. And I'm pretty sure the last card it said somewhere is trashed. Well, just trust me. I'm an expert. No. <laughs> uh, so now we unlock this, which shouldn't be locked. Oh, there's a next round. That's why it's locked. It's cryptid. Are you ready? Cool. Oh, that's a lot more cards than you said, Jeff. Yeah. Oh, no, fancy. no, it's six. I no, see. no, it's, it's six, six, and you're going first, so good luck. So now it's equipment. Now you have to pay. Uh, that equipment with the yellow stuff actually makes the money. That's the effect. So it's... Oh, what if you can't pay for equipment? I didn't mention that. Uh, you can always discard an equipment for one coin. It's a fail action, but I'm pretty sure that's a thing because... Uh, Do the coin cards... Pr Income at the beginning of the round or something? No, no, no. You just get it one time when you play the card. That's it. Oh, I see. I so basically, it's basically slightly better than discarding a card for one coin. You can play some lame cards. Actually, it's not lame in this case because it could score you points. That's yellow equipment. Uh, but yeah, you know what I mean? Yep. 
I'm pretty sure you can always discard equipment for a coin. I'm trying to find where that is. Yes, if you cannot afford, you do not want to, you may instead discard, or you, you can also grief a card that you don't want me to have. Discard to gain one coin, yep. Uh, and it's you, did you play it? Sorry, nope, that's fine. Uh, these colors cannot be burnt. I'm pretty sure that's a type of equipment. Orange equipment cannot be burnt in this location at all. Don't burn uh, me. Burn. All right. I'm not going to burn you just yet. <laughs> maybe later. Yeah, maybe later. I'm going to spend one coin. And I'm going to pick up one of these. Coin. Huh. That actually is quite fascinating, if you know what I mean. Do I know what I mean? Now I realize I should have saved some more coins. Because coins are good. Um, I think I'm going to follow Trevor's lead and steal from by paying a coin. I'm going to steal the face. What did you steal? Not the face, the diamond. All right, so now it's me. Is it me? Wait. Yeah, it's you. I went first, and then you go first. Are we supposed to do this? Let me check this as well, or is it always you, which would be kind of more fail? That would be pretty bad, it seems. Yeah, it would be, but who knows? Are we playing a variant already? <laughs> Watch us say it's pretty bad, and then that's the rule. <laughs> No, I think it is, actually. Uh, after both players play a card, they will exchange a hand and then repeat the process. Okay, let's start playing oh, it correctly. So I just, uh, okay. Yeah, you just always go first the whole round. I think it's just the okay. way it is. That's why it switches. Uh, previously, it used to be even worse, where not only do you always go first, but you always go first on equipment rounds. Now they switch it around on equipment rounds. So yeah, it's you for the entire round, and then it's you for the entire round, then it's me for the entire round, so we can start playing it correctly, I guess. Sorry about the screw-ups. I should have rev reviewed the rules. I read them like two weeks ago. Uh, anyway, yeah, go. Uh, I'm pretty sure those cards with the point are just point. If that makes sense. Does it make sense though? Skeleton key. You know, I've made some bad decisions as far as coins. And I will pay a coin to make a coin. So I pay a coin to make four. Kind of weird. And I'm actually exposed to stealage. But we'll see how that works. Because I have six, that's it. Pretty sure I have six. Yep. That pays me, bro. You have to get the two from the supply first, so I don't know if it's even possible. I actually don't think it's possible. Yeah, well, you had these cards, so you should Yep, know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not possible. So basically, because I played these cards, I already have two points basically guaranteed, unless Trevor burns this, actually, which nothing is guaranteed in this game, apparently. It's kind of a lot of equipment for the amount of thieves that we have. Yep. You might say over overkill. Uh, sorry, did you play? I'm not paying yeah. attention. Yeah, I played. And now for my next trick I would like to equip this guy with my spend the coin so Trevor can take them so the effects here our points are all at the end but I get a caper and because the colonel likes these cards I get two capers <laughs> so balance restored that's it uh, you can push the button actually so we don't push it twice accidentally I feel like it's dangerous to have two buttons And yeah, and we just do this for four more rounds. It's actually a pretty simple, straightforward game once you start playing it. Trevor does not like the balance to be restored. And what do I like? I like turtles. <laughs> I like turtles. 
Uh, let's just spam the kernel and see how far that gets me. <laughs> this is going to be the whole game. It's just moving this meeple back and forth. Yeah, to, well, I to was spaces. just more interested in like <laughs> making points happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you're probably building something cooler there, but I have an interest. Anyway, yeah. Yep. Go. Oh, Good. I pick a card. Yeah. Oh, no, no. You, did you switch it? Oh, I didn't. Yeah, that this looks more appropriate. It's kind of weird because I want to play equipments on top, but I can't. Or can I? That's kind of funny. The backs of these cards. Oh, wait a minute. Those are because you've uh, they're equipments versus thieves. So that's why they're different. Um, anyway, I have played this, meaning I have to pay another coin, uh, but I score two more capers, so things have been reversed here. Oh, don't forget to fully equip Thief also so, uh, gives you a caper, so I think that happened to you, but it also happened to me, so nothing happens. Or did you register yours? Wait, which one gives me a caper? A fully equipped Thief. A Thief with uh, three equipments. Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, but it just happened to me as well, so same difference. Oh, so, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. But yeah, a Thief with three equipments automatically counts as a caper. Um, I don't think, I don't know if this reverses if it gets burnt. Let's just say no, because it says, like, don't reverse anything except the immediate, the very immediate effects, which is really weird, because then you can get it again. I don't know, Kickstarter rules. But anyway, last card is burnt, and we go to round next, where it's still you. <laughs> but then it's going to be me, me, so, yep. So you can kind of see how the game is designed. I guess the first round kind of the stakes kind of get set, but then you can try to swing something. But apparently, we're all investing in whatever this is Mont Juic. 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 So it looks like some kind of a castle. It's actually. Translations mountain or mount. Maybe it's on top of a mountain. Looks cool from the art. Maybe I'll look at it after the game. Not much interest anywhere else. So, what do I do now? It's a. Uh, it mean it means Jewish mountain. Oh, cool. It's the remains of a medieval Jewish cemetery. On a, it's a hill in Barcelona. Yeah, anyway, I played a cleaner here. I made a coin. The theory is red cards, but we'll see. Oh, I think uh, if I remember correctly, these rewards are only relevant for the winner of the location. Uh, let me see. What? Yeah. I thought that the stars. <laughs> oh, okay. Actually, I don't know. Let me see. It's all or nothing. <laughs> I thought it was the star points of the card. Uh, it's, right, it's right here. You can read it even yourself. After blah, blah, check the caper to each location. If it is blah, blah, has won the location. Turn each location to face the mastermind that won the uh, location. Add up all the points listed on locations, including blah, blah, facing. So, yes, uh, these only are relevant if you win. <laughs> so, surprise. I don't know if you realize this. Nope. So, sad. That's Surprise. just what it is. Yeah. Um, I also kind of didn't really think about it. But anyway, so it's you for the last time in quite a while. Wow, it's crazy. And you're currently winning that. It's scary. Uh, pretty sure these icons are supposed to be for the entire location. Let me just see. I'm looking at the banker. You think he... Uh...
Yeah, it says anywhere in the location matters. Move the caper tracker a number of space towards you based on card's ability. If the card extends anything that meet the card's condition. My question is, gosh, I guess this game does have some questions. But uh, if I play this guy, do I get a caper for this? I hope so. And if I play future yellow cards, I still get the capers. I mean, I think that kind of goes without saying, but do there's, I get this caper? There's nothing to indicate that it wouldn't be that way. Yeah, sure. I got the caper, okay? Yeah. Uh, that's it. There, you have one card left, right? So we're done. So next round, Plonk, and it's me. A bunch of equipments. A bunch of equipments. Oh, Sorry, I didn't take my coin, I'm pretty sure, from the banker. So let me see now. Uh. Gosh, these weird icons, man. Yep, it's what I thought it was. Now we're getting into the juicy stuff, if you know what I mean. Find something. Uh, some of the look, some of the icons are on. Sorry, this page. What? I don't know what you're looking for. Some of the icons are at the end. Some of the icons are on like page seven. So the like basic icons are on page seven, and then the city specific icons are on the last two pages. It answers your question. If it doesn't, well, good luck. <laughs> All right, since it's me and I know what my cards do, I'm going to do the perform the first take that action in the game, probably not the last by far. I will burn your face, this face. I think it just flips, is that the mechanic? Uh, discard it, just kidding. So you can actually play under placement, but you lose two capers. <laughs> what? You go off the charts? Too many questions. Let's just assume you don't get off the charts. Ah! I lose a caper as well. Yeah. I think you probably cap, so I overdid it, and it's just my detriment. And we switch. Did you switch? Push switch. You burnt me as well. Sad. Wow. I'm going to have some serious issues here. Well, let's uh, collect art, because that's a thing. So, zoop, that's it. Gosh, you replaced it with the exact same freaking card. I guess I should have known because I gave you the card, so, oh well. <laughs> oh yeah, gosh. well, I just passed you the same thing too, so yeah, no, go that's ahead and the, fix it. That's what I'm laughing about is because I can just do it back again. So nice, very nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so do I get two capers again? I think so. That's weird, but I'll just play it that way. That card seems a little broken. Actually, not two capers, three, no, because he's three. No, he's no, fully you equipped. Said, <laughs> no, you said... Well, how can that be the case then? Because you don't lose the caper if he becomes not a caper. Yeah. And no, then, that's, that's... and then you told me you told me that he doesn't lose the caper if the cards burn, but he can just get another one added. Yeah, that's the really weird part about not reversing this is that it just keeps I don't adding. Know about that, <laughs> that seems like really broken. Whatever. Let's just reverse it one. That we're seems all, we're... like a really bad design, <laughs> if you ask me. We're both investing everything in this location. Anyway, let's just pretend it's... I don't know, I'll have to look up. This reversing rule is very strange. Very, very strange, I should say. The other thing is, like, if you burn this equipment, uh, 
it becomes a not full thief. So you don't reverse, you know, like when he's fully equipped, you don't reverse the caper. But when he becomes fully equipped again, you get another caper. So maybe you should just like not burn the third card or what something. What does this card mean? Uh, which card? Sorry. Uh, my look, this one specifically. If the top card is orange in the location, it's right here. Gain three points if the topmost gear card of at least one of your thieves at the location is orange. I'm okay. assuming not the card itself, because that would be kind of weird. So when you play it... Oh, not when you play it. At the end of the game. Uh, you have to end with an orange. Actually, I bet it... At the top of one of the thieves in the location. Yes, I bet it counts itself. It just has to be the last card. Yeah. Uh, it actually makes me kind of think that you can't feel like you shouldn't be able to blaze once a thief is complete that was actually the rule in the previous game as i think once a thief was like uh, fully equipped you couldn't mess with him anymore i'm surprised they don't have that because of these weird effects definitely are weird uh it leads to a lot of weird situations but anyway kickstarter did you switch the cards i didn't notice yeah yeah so it continues the pain continues or does it continue? Uh, uh? Wow, these cards are kind of... I'll pff, unfortunately play here and waste my last two coins to receive this diamond. Because diamonds are good, I guess. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, that, I think that would count itself. Oh, I also can't burn. Well, it can't. <laughs> That's like you can't burn to, it anyway. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, but it. if you notice, I don't have any money. Yeah... Speaking of which, I think we're in the same situation. I discard the cards. <laughs> oh, and the other card gets discarded anyway, so we both get one money and goodbye. Yep, sad. All right, cool. Uh, this is still me. We just play one. That's it. Very short round. Kind of hilarious. Let me see. I have to play first. Very short round. Very painful. GG. OMG. I have no money. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'm mostly doing this for the money. So this guy delivers two money to my face. And because there's a green card there, he capers. Uh, that's it. That's, that's the round for me. What is this? Uh, if the topmost art is... <laughs> if there's if there's an art on top of the tokens... I uh, see it and I take it. <laughs> yeah, you see it and you take it. Uh, gain one point per stolen good in your hideout. Per stolen good. If the topmost gear card of at least one of your thieves on location is green. What the heck? Because the eye is green, get it? So yeah, I uh, have a green card on top of one of your thieves. Score one point per token in your hideout. And this is where uh, the, we're about to enter the round where you either win the game or you fail epically because yep. now all the cards are like <laughs> either going to score or not score. <laughs> <laughs> depending on oh what we wait draw. a minute wait a minute wait a minute no waiting we're only drawing more cards Ooh. yep six equipments are about to happen if you know what i mean and that's all your thieves so basically i don't think this is gonna happen for me if you know what i mean but i will try to get my three points maybe if it even works out i don't know obviously some things just don't work out in the game uh yeah, are you good? Next round? Yep. Yeah, yeah. You can push it, actually. You can push all the buttons. And it's you! And we just do it. So hopefully things worked out and stuff. 
<laughs> yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, if there's one feedback I have is these like burning of cards. Some definite questions there. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yep, I am holding I, on. Uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, no, 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 no. Depending Sorry. on things that might matter, if you think no, you can pull it off. No, I'm, I'm thinking of, of that. That's not going to matter because there's no way I'm going to win that game. Uh, well, I'll certainly try. Wait, what? Why did you move it? Oh, because you didn't move it towards you. Yeah, I think I moved it towards me. Yeah, yeah. Let me think for a second. Okay. I have some thinking to do on my side as well. Oh, basically, you're giving me a point with this card, Lamau. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think of it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but I want her to score. So yeah, that's... yeah, yeah. It's a thing. Well, in theory, if you could have waited and played it here, but you couldn't wait. So anyway, yeah. You have to do what you have to yeah. do. It's just one point. Ah. Stop! Stop resisting. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll never stop. Oh, gosh. What else can I even do here? Gosh. Wait. So would the reversing of this be I lose the painting? Kind of unpleasant if you ask me. I don't know because you didn't reverse anything. <laughs> no, no, I reversed, I reversed the caper, but then I reinstalled the card, which gave me like two capers, which is hilarious. So I definitely lost the two capers. I just fixed it immediately with the, basically the same card, which is worth two. So you made me play a card again here. That's the that's the effect of that burning. But yeah, I think uh, I think burning that would be the effect would be unpleasant which means sadness <laughs> yep so i have to protect my freaking painting as annoying as that is so pay one coin receive five so just kidding four there's one left in the supply and yep pass cards you only took like a net three though right yes okay I hope so. <laughs> uh, I genuinely try to not make mistakes. I hope I didn't. Huh. I see how it is. How is it? Uh, caper combo time. Well, what? Uh, I play first, unfortunately, for you, and also there's a coin in the supply. Oh, well, yeah, I know, but uh, reasons. Uh, just, yeah, never mind. I was thinking of something else. I think it's time to push. Gosh. I wish you gave me better cards than this. I wish you had given me. Um, I'll just install a caper here to be cool and sorry i do have a lot of coins unfortunately whatever i'll spend them all um i spent spent three coins to acquire one of these faces and possibly score i bet this is going to be burnt and it's you burn me bro gosh this is like so like the cards that you burn who chooses <laughs> yeah this burn concept needs needs some work i feel uh if you burn my uh art card who chooses what's burnt uh shouldn't you just burn the one you took well, what if you don't remember? You know what I mean? Games are really just... Uh, remember. <laughs> I don't know. 
Yeah. I guess no, maybe it's... just like always do the worst one for you. Uh, uh okay. Well, I don't know. That would be my choice. <laughs> for, for yeah, you. I know. <laughs> that's that's the thing is it's unclear, sadly, and I don't know. It's yeah, I don't know. I mean, technically, you're burning it, so you can think of it as yeah, sure, maybe it is the worst one for me. Let's play it that way. I don't care. But this uh, the burning concept definitely needs some ironing out, especially since now you actually physically take the tokens. I don't appreciate that. Yep, you don't say. Uh, sure, whatever. I guess it gets returned here, which could actually return a token which didn't belong there. Anyway, like I say, weird stuff. Pass cards. I hope you die with those burns. Uh, speaking of which... I will, gosh, I feel like preemptively burning your stuff just to, pre to prevent it from happening to me. I don't think you can burn thieves, right? Yep, it's only gear no, now. No, you cannot. Yeah, it's sad. <laughs> this is extremely annoying. Uh, well, there is a downside of you wasting your time if you do it, but I'm just going to get two coins on this guy's face because I get rewards possibly for it if that works out. Oh, he also gives me a caper when I coin. Coin caper. And that's me. It's final decision, super final. He likes money and also scoring and stuff. Unless that gets burnt as well. No. You can just hit it. Yeah, the game's kind of just puttering at this point, and like there's not really much to do other than just react to you. A lot of it is decided by the first two rounds, I think. Your initial choice of powers is yeah. kind of huge. And I'm I'm noticing I did not get the ones that like have huge caper swings. Yeah, I think these cards are really good. Uh, by the way, speaking of which, uh, the game does have decent variability. Like you saw, these cards with little icons are specific to... <laughs> There's like hardly any. That's so weird. Maybe we didn't choose them. Oh, they're at the bottom left corner. So this card with specific icon belongs to the city. These cards are generic and are in every game. So I guess actually the good cards are generic, which is maybe why they're good. I think I'll restore my freaking diamond because I don't like you and I will get this caper because I don't know if that's uh, the way it's supposed to be. Like if it's an oversight or just keep repeating this effect. Kind of hilarious. Doesn't say you don't get it again, but anyway, that's it. This restored my diamond. This is three points per orange card that is in the top. Uh, good question. I don't know. It just says gain three point if this one is worded as per. So it's... Oh, oh it's the only per, a, at least the, one. The per iconography is if it's sticking out like this. If it's a box, it's just static. So this is per, this is box. This is one time. The box is one time. I think that's what they're going for. So this is per. Per? What? Oh, pff, per. That's an ongoing. Oh, is it me? No, I played the skeleton no, key. Did you play? Me. It's me. Well, at least you won the uh, whatever, La Rambla, without any resistance, really. I guess I should try to play it. The red card there. What's happening? Am I getting wrecked again? Oh my yep. gosh. Forgot that could happen. Whatever. And switch. Uh, oh, I bet you're never going to guess what I'm going to play. 
Actually, uh, I just handed you something that I like. The points. The thing is, if I play that, gosh, I should have remembered what cards I passed you. Uh, this is impossible. Uh, I could get the caper and two points if I play it here. Oh, pfft. so why wouldn't I just do that? Uh, yeah, this seems legit. This also completes the set. So I don't think there was a burn. Basically do it, yeah. Yep. Does that make you Is money happy? worth anything? I don't think so. Oh, uh, let me point? see. <laughs> well, uh, buying equipment. Uh, literally, this is scoring check. Uh, so locations, thief points, gear points, stolen goods. Uh, first tiebreaker. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Gotcha. Are you ready for this exciting scoring time? I don't know. Uh, so locations. Who won the locations? I won the location. I won the location. You won the location. Uh, the first thing that happens, I think this is a scoring pad here, is location stuff. So basically just score all the location stuff. Only. I think at first. So very simple. So you can do your own. I'll just walk, I guess, from my perspective. This is just six points plus another two because one card plus another two because one card. So ten points. That's it, ten. I don't know what you got. What am I, white? Is white and teal? I think I only got five. Oh, I'm white, yeah, by my name. Ten. Uh, your location scores five I had to five waste all the red basic. cards on your thing over there that ended up not mattering any. Well, I guess it mattered a lot, getting rid of those things. Uh, where's the... F did you say five? Because I... What? Yeah, yeah, just five. Yeah, because there's no red cards on your side. You should have played the red cards here. That's well, unfortunate. Well, I played them... I played them over here, dealing with you getting all the things you were getting. Yeah, yeah, that was kind of necessary, sadly. Uh, anyway, what's the next thing? I think it's actually thieves, just thieves, no gear, just thieves, if I remember correctly. Uh, thief points, yep. Check the icons across all of your thieves, and just, just thieves. So... I, I think I only got seven points. Uh, this guy has two points. Actually, you probably have better points than me on Thieves because I didn't focus on that as much. You gave me a point here, which is two. Uh, this has two sets, so that's nice, actually. Uh, yellow plus something else. So, five. That's it, five. Yep. Uh, what is it, seven You you had? I'm yeah. entering it here. You can enter it here if you want to just type it. Uh, just gear, I think. And then just stolen goods. So, three. I think I had one, two, five. Six. Six is all I have. Very simple. Uh, three from this ridiculous card, ridiculously hilarious. Oh, sorry, with the locations, actually, there's some more points here if you maxed it out. Uh, speaking For of what? Uh, this, so you oh, you get two, I, two I get more. two. I forgot about that new mechanic. So you actually get seven. Um, I actually don't remember if I registered this caper, which would give me a point, but let's just say I did whatever. Uh, if you're done with gear, we just compare art. So, what is it? Two, two, four, six, or two, four, eight, two, five, nine. Two, five, nine is slightly better. So, this is two, this is five, so seven for me. And nine what do you me. have? Nine, so 30 to 28. That's it. That's the game. GG. According to my scoring abilities. Uh, yeah, these cards uh, seem quite powerful if you want to win a location. I'm not convinced we played the kernel right, but uh, oh well. I'm pretty sure it's right. <laughs> it seems really broken and like really hard to trace it. I don't know. Well, Maybe. 
No, it just is very simple. Every time you play a purple card, you get a caper. The thing is, the purple cards themselves become capers, uh, be, provide capers. So basically, like, it's an insane caper engine, which I think maybe, like, once you see this, you give up on this location and you win the other two or something if you're concerned about this happening. I don't know. But yeah, this had a really. Yeah, I wasted way, way, way too much time fighting a pointless battle over here i think this worked out well because of the purple card thingy even though it's only cares about the last one because this card this guy is like insane purple spammer so it was nice well, actually now that i'm thinking about it i was i was forced to fight over there because i kept from getting a lot more points by col completing stolen art sets so the gap would have been even larger if i had not fought you over here um actually if kind of weird but like uh if you had played these cards here these are pretty significant points which is kind of weird this location is yeah, very yeah you would have yeah i was i wanted to play them over there but i yeah maybe i made the wrong choice but it it seemed like you were going to have a lot more points by uh having stuff over here um yeah, this was a nice scoring, but like I would have only won this one thing, maybe, you know, I don't know. Yeah, maybe, I, invested I, maybe my... I put too much time into that. Because even, also... even just having one red card over in, in this district would have won. I also feel like uh, control is pretty, uh, these cards are super controlling, and I got three, you got one here, and yeah, you clearly won this, but that's why I also gave up on it, actually, because I was like, well, this is pushed up all the way, uh, if I start fighting here, I'm going to lose this, and if I lose this, it's the end. Uh, this card, well, by I the way. Well, I was planning to fight control here, but the cards just never came. Yeah, uh, that's also an unfortunate component of just playing the game more. This is a really interesting design, by the way. I can see why there are three points, because they are useless. Because you can't burn, oh, just orange cards. Just kidding. So, yeah. You could have actually burned just this, which is the same effect as this, you know? Yeah, and but I was, was trying to points. stop. You had a, no, you had a card here that scored green cards. Yep. And I burnt that card. Yeah. Yeah. It it was the better card to burn. Yeah. Now I, I I think having these three guys was kind of a good time actually. I liked being able to push these a lot. Yeah, the unfortunate part is that I couldn't get one more green card to score this. I didn't get to score that guy, and that would have swung the game too. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, this is uh, clearly, I think we are playing this correctly, but it seems very gamey. Basically, uh, I don't know, hopefully they, I think uh, disabling the third cards from being removed would fix this. Or maybe you just know that's how the game works and it's very questionable because if you burn this card you just erase maybe one caper or something. So this goes back like if you imagine it being in the middle, it goes backwards one. However, if I add it again, it adds actually three capers, which is ridiculous because this triggers, the card itself triggers, and the thief completes again because he's fully equipped. So that's actually three yeah. capers, which seems really weird. But that that's just accor seems, according that just seems bad to me. <laughs> according to the rules, that's, that's the way it is. I don't know. Because uh, it says when you reverse, when you burn a card, and I think maybe that should be removed. Uh, or revised when you burn maybe you should actually uh, fix the whole board you know well what that what that means though effectively is that uh game over you can't fight that location because yep. moving at three is huge yeah or you just like uh literally take all these cards somehow from me and not give well, me any at all but good, <laughs> but luck, good take, luck with that no, yeah. <laughs> because i draft one card a turn yeah i know <laughs> so i can't like stop you from getting cards no if you want control i think this guy is incredibly strong because these cards themselves provide control so i think uh if you see this guy basically maybe like give up on the location <laughs> or, yeah uh, no, i should i probably should have tried to find a way to still fight you here but 
invest more here because this was i needed to cash out more on this area or try to build basically something like this without inserting capers because capers like do nothing basically because this guy just like wrecks your caper anything uh maybe just do point scoring like well, this all of this would have been a good are capers though this would have that's what i mean is do point scoring cards like this uh where it doesn't involve purple cards and just spam like art coins so you don't have to waste caper yeah. cards because every card here is wasted caper uh when this guy this guy is really strong apparently for control but anyway, yeah. that's the game. Uh, very kind of simple game. We definitely dragged it with some rules questions and stuff. And I still am not sure about the design of this. It only reverses uh, the card itself and not instant effect gained by other cards. Very iffy. Uh, the previous game, this actually is a new feature. The previous game used to have a kind of a burn concept, but you could also actually flip over thieves, which disables their effect. So you could actually disable entire thieves, which maybe he thought it was too too swingy. And I kind of agree because it did lead to some really unpleasant, like really high scoring thieves could be flipped. Uh, not in uh, not in, not if they're covered. Those are the protection was just to cover them with equipment. But I think also the thieves which were complete like this were protected from this. So I think this needs some thinking here is like this entire blaze thing. I don't know if it works out too well, but the game still works. I like the visual tracks. Previously, these you just had to remember how many capers and look at people's cards. So I think having yeah, that's this, a good addition. I think this having a physical track is really cool um, and definitely awesome. Uh, yeah, the rounds alternating is better. Not super groundbreakingly amazing, but better. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of the same game with a weird city now. Lots of weird like top top of top cards. I I still like it. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll probably, I'm, not, I'm I'll, not sure how I feel about the kernel. Like, well, the kernel. <laughs> But I mean, there's one of those cards for every color, right? But I don't know how I feel about how that rule works. Um, and there's also like locations that just obviate cards. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, this was supposed to be actually helpful. So like you can be safe playing orange yeah, cards there. But but then it turned out to like there are there is a card where it's like, well, it does the same thing. And so I, I don't yeah. know. I mean, it's not necessarily bad, but there's just like overlap of, well, this card is now extra useless. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, the point is obviously play it somewhere else. But if you want it to be here, then it's well, unfortunate. Yeah, but then I have like cards yeah, that yeah. encourage playing it there. And so it's just kind of uh, Maybe we just had a bad deal because you just shuffle the whole deck. Because if you get this first and then this, then it absolutely makes sense. Especially if somewhere like this, because you it protects yeah, this card yeah. from getting wrecked, which is awesome. It's just yep. that the order was wrong, I guess, in this case. But you just simply shuffle the whole deck so this card could come could come first or last so i don't know i think yeah. it shuffle but overall overall really cool game i like it yeah it's just a tug of war game with some card combos uh some weird kickstarter stuff with this new idea but hopefully they're they'll iron it out so yep yeah, thanks for watching and that was caper